everyone. Welcome once again to Thursday Power Prayer Night. This is Powerhouse Cathedral of Gospel Light International Church. And we are a church that believes that Jesus transformed life. Our founders are Bishop Matthew Adem Mensa and Lady Bishop Mrs. Nana Adem Mensa. Like I said, today is Thursday night prayer meeting. And wherever you are, I entreat you to join me. I am stepping into the big shoe of my father and my resident bishop, Bishop Dr. Nanaya Dombwache. It's a privilege, it's an honor, and I say, Daddy, God bless you. I am Lady Reverend Francisca Kukwaya Nibakwansa, and I'm leading you in a time of prayer. You trust with me that prayer changes everything, and prayer is our means to communicate with heaven. I believe in prayer because I believe that Jesus is seated at the right side of the God Most High and he's interceding for you and I. And it's a privilege to join him every time to pray. Prayer changes life. Prayer is a good investment. And the best gift you can give anyone is a seed of prayer. If you are watching us online, if you are beside your laptop, you are watching from your phone, you are following us on Twitter, on Facebook, I urge you to send a prayer request. Join in the connectivity. Because of technology, we are on a lockdown, but we are not separated. I come into your home through technology, and you can join me through technology. Have a conference call with your friend. Call a family member. Call a prayer partner. Develop a prayer altar in your home. And let's lift up prayer to heaven. Our God is a prayer answering God. His name is Jehovah Shammah. Meaning he's not limited to location. He's not limited to building. He's everywhere. The same God that was with Moses. The same God that was with Jacob. is the same God that is with us tonight. And he will hear you. David said he gives himself to prayer. And this evening, I want you to give yourself to prayer. Wherever you are watching me from, any time of the day that you are watching us, I want you to give yourself to prayer. And you know one thing about prayer? You don't need rehearsal. All you need is a heart to pray. All you need is faith to believe that the king of kings is listening to you. The Lord of Lords is all yes, listening to your prayer. Somebody join me. Hold the hand of your children. Mother, call your husband. If you are sleeping, remember the scripture in Psalm 13 verse 3. It says that, consider me, O Lord, lest I sleep a sleep of death. In this era of coronavirus, in this era of uncertainty, in this era of unknown of tomorrow, we need to talk to the God that knows tomorrow. Jesus is still the same yesterday, today and forevermore. That is what scripture says in Hebrew chapter 13 verse 8. He is the same. He listened to you when you were in poverty. He will listen to you in this age of coronavirus. If only you will pray. Bible says that if my men will, will call on me, I will hear them. As Bible says in the popular scripture that is, is going around this day, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, that if the people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will hear them. Beloved, I want to encourage you that the Lord will hear you tonight. I believe in prayer because Jesus is praying at this moment with us. I believe in prayer because I believe in the King of Kings. Jehovah Shammah will listen to you. If you've just joined us, it's a time of power prayer. The power of God is in your room. The power of God is in your car. The power of God is on your laptop. The power of God is with you. Humble yourself in prayer. I want us, before we enter into a time of worship, with the Powerhouse Cathedral Mass Square, I want us to have a little time of prayer to prepare ourselves. I want you to put on the whole armor of God. I want you to put on the seed of righteousness. I want to put on your, your garment of righteousness. 
I want you to be like David who went before the Lord in Psalm 51 and said that creating me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit within me. I don't know the spirit that you have now but I know that my God gives the right spirit. So lift up your voice and tell the Lord that before I come before you in prayer before I cast all my burdens before you I want you to renew a right spirit within me. A right spirit devoid of bitterness. A right spirit devoid of unforgiveness. Let the Lord renew a spirit full of love. A spirit full of honor. A spirit full of forgiveness. A spirit full of the will of God. A spirit full of the blessings of the Lord. Tell the Lord. Lift up your voice, mother. Lift up your voice, sister. Lift up your voice, my brother. Tell the Lord that Father renew a right spirit within me. That is the prayer of David in Psalm 51 verse 10. He went down to say that restore unto me the joy of your salvation. You are asking the Lord that Father restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Some of us have lost the joy of our salvation because we've backslide. But this is a good God that we worship. We've backslide to the strange women. Husbands have cheated on their wives. Wives have stolen from their children. Mothers have betrayed their children. Sin has encamped us. But this is a God that can restore. Before we enter into the throne room of grace, you are asking the Lord somebody. You are asking on behalf of your family. You are asking on behalf of your grandchildren, grandmother. You are asking on behalf of your sons, oh mother. You are asking on behalf of your church, oh pastor. You are asking on behalf of your, 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 your employees, oh employer. You are telling the Lord that restore unto them the joy of your salvation. Oh Carista. Oh, prayer warrior, oh, instrumentalist, tell the Lord that restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Somebody remember your first love. When you got safe, you could go and win souls. Oh, even when this lockdown came, you are in my country, Ghana, in those two weeks, we, 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 we've been in our homes, but you could say that you are not talking to your wife. You are not talking to your husband. But I'm here to tell you that the Lord can restore the joy of your salvation. Ask the Lord to restore it. That restore unto me the joy of my salvation. The joy to work for you. The joy to read your word. The joy to pray. The joy to believe in the spirit of the Lord. The joy of faith. The joy of hope. The joy that you are with me to the end of time. Ask the Lord, the Father restore unto me the joy of my salvation. The joy that you never slumbers nor you sleep. The joy that the Lord is with me to the end of time. The joy of believing in the word of God. The joy of agreeing with David that though you walk through the valley of coronavirus, the Lord will never forsake you nor leave you. Lift up your voice, my brother. Tell the Lord that Father restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Finally, you are praying. As we enter into worship, you are declaring that the throne room of God shall be open unto you. Before the Lord used me to lead us to pray, we will enter into a, a, a time of worship. But you are telling the Lord that Father, let the throne room of heaven be open. Bible says that let us therefore enter into the throne room of grace. That we may obtain mercy. You are asking the Lord that wherever you are at this moment is the tabernacle of the Lord. That you should turn it into the throne room of grace. That your prayer should not be hindered by any king of Persia. Bible says the other day that when Daniel had prayed for 21 days, a king of Persia stopped answers to his prayer. 
but you are lifting up a prayer to heaven and you are telling the Lord that before I begin to pray hey let the atmosphere be set let the world be saturated let the atmosphere to be set let my north be saturated let my south be saturated let the east be saturated let the west be saturated let my prayer climb into the throne room of grace the other day bible says that when jacob was going to meet Esau, he was left alone and he began to pray but not knowing it was the tabernacle of the lord it was the throne room of the lord where angels were ascending and descending and there ha, ha, when he caught the revelation he was able to catch the angel and the angel he wrestled with the angel and the angel asked him hey what is your name and Jacob said my name is Jacob and the angel said your name is not Jacob your name is Israel somebody when you are before the presence of the Lord when you catch the tabernacle of the Lord when you reach the throne room of the Lord your name will be changed by your prayer you will wrestle with an angel and every seed of coronavirus every bitterness of coronavirus every aftermath of coronavirus anything that is afflicting you shall be changed jacob means deceiver but when he wrestled in prayer when he wrestled at the right location when his location was the tabernacle of the lord when his location was the presence of the lord my bible says his name was chained to Israel a father of many nations so tonight you are saying that wherever your location is being it in your car being it at the comfort of your house being it on it just 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 you and yourself being it you and your family being it at work being it on your hospital bed being it wherever you are you are telling the Lord that let it be the tabernacle let it be the throne room of grace where I will receive an answer to my prayer in Jesus name we bless you Lord if you pray this prayer I know that yes the atmosphere has been charged heavenly gates are open the, 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 the atmosphere is opened the Lord is going to hear our prayers Bible says that the Lord is in his holy temple let the whole world be silenced before him somebody yes your, 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 your atmosphere has been charged your atmosphere is set it's set that is why I want you to join the powerhouse cathedral masqua as they lead us in a time of worship holy Holy, hey, 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 hey. are you Lord of God Almighty? Oh, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. For you are holy. Worthy is the 
Full time of worship and our atmosphere is still charged. Today is Thursday and tomorrow the world will be remembering the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe that before this happened, Bible says that and Jesus went into the forest in, in, in Matthew chapter 26 verse 39 Bible says that he went there and he began to cry and began to tell the Lord that Lord not my will but let your will be done before he said that he said something that let this cup pass over me Jesus was in agony because if you look at the cross that he was going to die on the shameful death that you and I were supposed to die. Jesus was about to die that death. He was about to give his blood as a remuneration for you and I, our sin. 
And as the world remember him tomorrow, which is the Good Friday, I believe that this Thursday is the night that he wrestled. He, he prayed and he told the Lord that let this cup pass over me. From last year, we've been wrestling with the devil, the demon called coronavirus. I know many of us have asked, just like Jesus did, that let this cup pass over us. Some of us are already on the cross. But I'm here to encourage you that as Jesus endured the cross, and it is confirmed in Hebrews 12, 20, in Hebrews 12, verse 2, that he seated at the right side of the Lord. That is why you and I will endure this age of coronavirus. And will agree with Jesus to say that it is finished. As he confirmed in John 19 verse 36. That indeed it is finished. It will be finished with coronavirus. Coronavirus will be finished. As Jesus declared on the cross. That it is finished. It is finished. John chapter 19 verse 30 to 36. It is said that Jesus said it is finished. I want you to pick the blood. Our prayer will be centered on the power of the blood. We are going to invoke the power in the blood. That the blood of Jesus will give us a testimony. Bible says in Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. That they overcame you by the words of their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. And my Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. That the blood of Jesus speaketh better things more than the blood of Abel. Somebody, tomorrow is Good Friday. And as my, my, my Papa Bishop Dr. Nanaya Dombachi will say. Yes, it is good that Jesus' birth came. But if Jesus had not died on the cross. You and I will not have been saved. So the significance of the blood is the same today. Just as it was the same yesterday. So we are lifting up the blood. I don't know if you have communion. Communion wine in your house. But I want you to pick the blood of Jesus. It can be water, anything that you have. And I want us to lift up prayers. Wherever you are, this is scripture. Bible says in Exodus chapter 12 verse 13. That the Lord said something in the B. He says that when I see the blood, I will pass away. I want you to mark every part of your house with the blood of Jesus. Whatever that you will be using, I don't care. But believe that it is the blood of Jesus that you are using. Just, just walk about your house. And do this simple exercise. Sprinkle this in your house. Tell the Lord that Lord. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. At the hospital. You are declaring. That let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. As Jesus spoke on the cross. That it is finished. Let the blood speak. That it is finished. It is finished. Coronavirus. Your assignment on earth is finished. Your assignment in my home is finished. If you are on the hospital hospital bed and you have been affected by coronavirus I want you to declare that it is finished my body you are finished with coronavirus the end of coronavirus has come because Jesus is my Lord Jesus is my Lord the blood of Jesus speaketh for me hallelujah 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 somebody you can hashtag yourself it is finished because coronavirus is finished. When it sees the blood, it will run away. When that demon sees the blood of Jesus, it will run away. Because it is finished. It is finished. Let it be your hashtag. During our prayers last week, we prayed this beautiful scripture. Psalm 7 verse 9. It says in the A. That let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But we didn't pray the B. It says that but establish the just to God. Somebody you are lifting up a prayer to heaven. As you have sprinkled the blood of Jesus. And as you have declared. 
that it is finished with coronavirus. Last year we called it to an end. But now we are saying it is finished. You are saying that Lord establish me. Establish my finances, oh God. Establish me, oh God. Establish all that concerns me. Somebody, when Jesus died and resurrected, he arose to heaven and he's established there. So we knew establishment is scripture. Say it, Lord. Say it, say it. Mother, say it. Tell the Lord that your children's education is established. Oh, husband, say that your wife's job is established. Tell your husband that my husband, your finances is established. It's established. It's established. We have been established. Our health is established. Oh, the decree that we've given to heaven, that coronavirus is finished. It's established. Anything that we've declared is established. It's established in the name of Jesus. It is established. Establish the just of God. Establish the just of God. Establish the just of God. In the name of Jesus. Lakaba sutaya. Somebody, if you are watching us, I still say that this is the Gospel Light International Church, Powerhouse Cathedral, Dakuman Bombay. And this is our power prayer time. And we are praying and lifting up the blood of Jesus. We've sprinkled the blood of Jesus. We've prayed for establishment. Once again, we are praying. Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. That the peace of God surpasses all understanding. I know that this virus has brought many, many, many people in distress. Many have lost their peace. We've prayed for establishment. But we are praying that the prince of peace. As the world we celebrate his death and his resurrection from tomorrow. We are praying that Lord reign your peace. Reign your peace. Many presidents are confused. Many husbands are confused. Many employers are confused. Employees don't know where to go again. But we are asking. That your peace surpasses all understanding. Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Shalom. Reign your peace. Let it be your declaration. My sister, join me in prayer. Tell the Lord that Father, reign your peace. A husband doesn't know how to start. A wife doesn't know where to go for food. A mother doesn't know what to do. But by your peace, oh God. But by your peace, O oh God, the children of Israel didn't know where to pass. Even on the promised land, they saw giants coming. Even on the promised land, they didn't know what to do. But there was a man called Caleb. There was a man called Joshua. There was a man who knew what to do. Lord, we are calling on you that as the world remember the death and resurrection of our Savior. Oh, who is still the same today, yesterday and forevermore. We call for your peace, oh God. Let your peace reign. Let your peace reign in the world, oh God. Your peace, oh God. Countries are still fighting in this age of coronavirus. Hey, husbands and wives are still fighting in this age of coronavirus. Employers are, oh, they don't know how to pay their employees. They are outstanding pays to be paid, oh God. But we ask for your peace, oh God. We ask for your peace, oh God. Reign your peace, oh God. Reign your peace, oh God. Let your peace reign. Let it reign. Let it reign. Let it reign on every aspect of this world. In the east, oh God, let your peace reign. From the west, oh God, let your peace reign. In the weeks, oh God, let your east reign. In every aspect of our life, let the east reign. Let your peace reign. In the name of Jesus. Economies don't know how to recover the economy. But we are praying. Bible says that Daniel had an understanding. He had knowledge. More than any other one in the days of King Nebuchadnezzar. We are praying for the Daniels. We are praying that as it is finished 
with coronavirus. As we call to the end of coronavirus, we are praying for the Daniels. The Josephs who are scientists, the Lord has given them the wisdom to bring the medicine, to bring the vaccine for this coronavirus to be cured. But we are praying for the Daniels. The Daniels that will turn the economy around. The Daniels that will bring my country Ghana back on its feet. The Daniels that will bring Italy back on track. The Daniels that will bring Jerusalem back on track. The Daniels that will bring Israel back on track. The Daniels that will bring the UK back on track. The Daniels that will bring food to the table of a family. The aftermath of Corona. Our pockets may be dry. But we are calling on the Daniels. The Father, somebody if you are praying with me. Tell the Lord that Father in my family. Raise the Daniel. A Daniel that will have understanding of this time. A Daniel that will have a knowledge of this time. In the US, oh God, we are calling for a Daniel. In the, in the, in the economy, oh God, we are calling for the Daniels. In those in the financial system, we are calling for the Daniels. Hey, we are calling for the Daniels, oh God. Those who have exceptional wisdom. Those who have exceptional understanding. Those that will understand the days and time. For my Bible says that the children of Issachar, they knew the times and the season. We are calling for those people, oh God. The presidents will have those as advisors. That will turn the countries around. That will turn the economy around. Hey, Lord, we pray for exceptional wisdom, oh God. Poverty is not our portion. We pray for the food system, oh God. The farmers among us, hey, many are not going to work because of the lockdown. But as you have brought Corona to an end, as it is finished with Corona, we pray, oh God, that those in the agri sector, ha, you will give them a new revelation. You will give them a new understanding. And you will give them a new wisdom. And then they will plan to God. And we will not be in anger. Let there not be an economic recession, oh God. In the name of Jesus. I encourage you to pray. We are calling for Daniels. In your home, we are calling for Daniels. Maybe you've lost your job. Maybe you've lost a family member who was the breadwinner. You've lost a father. You've lost a mother. You've lost a child who was providing for you. But the Lord can raise a Daniel for you. Let this be your prayer. The Lord raise the Daniel, so God. Raise someone that will have an exceptional wisdom. That will turn things around. That will turn things around. That will shape our lives once again. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray a special prayer once again. Last week we prayed for the old people. We stood on, 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 on Joel 2.28 and we prayed. We are praying for the unrich. Who are the unrich? They are those in the prisons. They are those in the ghettos. They are those in, in, in the junky area. In my country, they are those in the to-dos. They are venous. They are the corners. And I know that every country that you are, there is some there. There are people that even we Christians fear to go to them. But I believe in this prayer of Damascus prayer. The prayer that the disciples prayed for Paul. You are praying. Some of them may even die of this virus without knowing. Because they themselves, they don't think they are wealthy. You are praying for the unrich. You are praying for the armed robbers. You are praying for the junkies. Those that are taking drugs that they don't know what to do with their lives. You are telling the Lord. The Bible says, hey, that these people, you love us all. You are lifting up your voice. Maybe you have a sister who is a junkie. Mention the person's name. Mention the person's name. If you have a friend, you are telling the Lord that Father have mercy on them. 
have mercy on them. Heal them, not only from coronavirus, but heal them from their addiction. Heal them from their addiction. Whatever is controlling them, let your peace reign in them. In the name of Jesus. We are praying for those in the psychiatry hospitals. And even those who walk on the streets who have lost their mind. They are still part of the unrich. We cannot reach them because they've lost their sanity. But we can reach them with, their, with our prayer. We can reach them by a seed of prayer. Somebody, if, 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 if you pray this prayer with everything within you, the Lord will bless you. Lift up your voice. Mention every psychiatry hospital that you know. In my country, we have the Asalam Down Psychiatry Hospital. We have the Pantine Hospital. We have the Ankafu Hospital. Lord, we pray for these people. They may even be affected by this disease, but they don't know. We are not only praying for your protection against Corona, but we are praying that, Lord, you will give them a miracle. You will give them a miracle that by the end when this corona comes to a finish as we've declared they will also say it is end to their insanity and they will come home to join us you are praying for the untouched the untouched are those that have leprosy those that people don't even want to go close to them those that are, 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 are people that are condemned that, 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 that their life is worth nothing but the Lord loves those people you are asking the Lord the Father in the name of Jesus reach those people reach them with your peace reach them with your healing not healing or protection against only Corona but you are reaching them with your, your, your healing healing from those things that prevent them from being touched in the days of old when you have such diseases you are being left at the end of the road but Jesus being a high priest has made it possible for us to be able to join on the table of the king of kings so somebody let it be your prayer this time that the untouched shall be rich by the word of God that the untouched shall be rich with our prayer that the untouched shall be rich with your prayer hold the hand of somebody hold the hand of your sister call your friend to join in this prayer oh top the untouched shall be rich by my prayer let it be your hashtag today that the untouched shall be rich by my prayer that those in the leprosarium home those people who are nowhere to be found those people that we cannot go to them because their situation is nothing to call home about hey we are reaching them by our prayer in the name of Jesus the spirit of God just dropped onto me that you and I should pray again that as Bible says that when King Hosea died we saw the Lord you are asking the Lord last week we declared that let the end of corona comes today we've declared that it is finished and last week we declared that the light of god will shine in our darkness and you will keep our candle burning but today we are declaring as the holy spirit leads that at the end of this coronavirus we will see the lord we will see the lord it says that when King Hosea died, I saw the Lord. We will say that Lord, when this calamity ended, when this affliction ended, when this coronavirus ended, we saw the Lord. Let up your voice. I don't know where you want to see the Lord. I don't know which area of your life that you want to see the Lord. But I want to see the Lord in my country. I want to see my the Lord in every aspect of my ministry. I want to see the Lord in my family. I want to see the Lord in my job. I want to see every member of my family being saved.
I want to see the Lord in my finances. Where do you want to see the Lord? Do you want to see the Lord in the life of your children? Then it's time for you to pray. Do you want to see the Lord in your finances? Then it's time for you to pray. We you want to see the Lord in your country? Then it's time for you to pray. Do you want to see the Lord? Where do you want to see the Lord? Somebody. Hey, you need to pray. Do you want to see the Lord in your marriage? Then it's time for you to pray. Do you want to see the Lord in your job? Then it's time for you to pray. Do you want to see the Lord? The Lord in your own salvation. Then it's time for you to pray. When King Hosea died, we saw the Lord. When Corona ended, we saw the Lord. When Corona ended, we saw the Lord. When Corona ended, we saw the Lord. We saw the Lord. We saw the Lord. Pastors, we will see the Lord. Our members would come back to church. We will see our numbers flowing. We will see many giving their lives to Christ. As the world remember the death and resurrection of the Lord, this weekend, we declare that Corona is finished. Corona, your assignment on earth is finished. For the King of glory, Hey, the king of glory. Who is this king of glory? As my Bible says in Psalm 24 verse 7 going. That the Lord is the king of glory. The Lord strong and mighty. Your work on earth has finished. So lift up your head, Corona. For we will see our God. We will see our God. We will see the king of kings. We will see Jehovah Aldona, who is our sovereign God. We will see Jehovah El Shaddai, who is our El Shaddai, who is our sufficiency. We will see Jehovah Nisi, who is our banner of victory. We will see Jehovah Elion, or we will see Jehovah Jireh, who will provide for us in times of our need. We will see Jehovah Shalom, who will be our peace in times of storm. We will see Jehovah Nisi, see who continue to be our banner hey we declare that we will see the lord thank you holy spirit somebody we are still praying i believe in prayer because i believe in god and i believe in prayer because it's an opportunity for heaven to hear your voice somebody begin to declare once again begin to declare once again set yourself in motion to receive from the Lord the world remembers tomorrow the whole world whether coronavirus whether lockdown whether whatever we are remembering the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the blood will speak for us the blood of Jesus will continue to speak for us the blood of Jesus will continue to speak for us Oh, which area do you want the blood of Jesus to speak for you? Is it in your ribs? Is it in your heart? Is it in among your lungs? Is it in your kidney? Let the blood of Jesus speak for you. Declare it right now. Declare it right now. Bible says that you shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. Declare it right now that it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit just dropped into my voice right now into my spirit right now that we should pray just as he did in the time of Isaac that when he was planting and there was farming in this age of coronavirus many have planted but there is still farming but as the Lord established Isaac you are declaring for the, for, for the blessings of Isaac that you will reach your Robohoff that in this time of coronavirus when everyone is crying you will look unto heaven and say that Jehovah is my supplier for he has supplied all my needs according to his riches according to his riches in glory in glory in glory in glory declare it right now that Jehovah shall take me to my time of Robohoff he shall take me to my pleasant place oh that my line will fall into places that my line will fall into places oh in the name of Jesus declare the blessings of Isaac that the devil afflicted him many times that the devil made sure that he afflicted him many times the devil has prevented you 
just as Bible says in Psalm 18 verse 18. He says that they prevented me in my days of my calamity. But the Lord is my stay. The Lord is, has, is your stay. The Lord is our stay. Mention your name. The Lord is my stay, Francisca. Oh, declare it that the Lord is my stay. In that country that there is no hope. In Ghana that there is no hope. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Yes, something good came out of Nazareth. Jesus Christ came out of Nazareth. My Savior, your Savior came out of Nazareth. The Savior of the world came out of Nazareth. And above 2,000 years and over, that same Jesus is the same today. He was the same yesterday. And he's still the same days to come. So declare it. That hey, the Lord shall be your stay. Lakabasata. The Lord shall be your stay. Declare the blessings of Isaac. That the Lord will make you plant. In this time of farming. As the Lord take away Corona. As the Lord let it finish. You are saying that Lord. You have established me. You have established me. But yet you are also making me. Enjoy the blessings of Isaac. He settle you. In Gospel Light, the whole Gospel Light International Church, our theme for 2020 is that we are in a set time. Yes, indeed, this is our set time. A set time for blessings. A set time for over and above blessings. And that will only come from the King of Kings. It doesn't matter what is going on. We know that it is our set time. Declare it. I want you to declare it. You are the image of God. You and I are the image of God. We will decree a thing and it shall come to pass. A pastor that you've not been to church this whole one month. I am telling you today that the Lord says that your members will not scatter. They will gather once again. For he will bring your, men, your daughters from the east. He will bring your daughters from the south. And your men from the north and the west. And the Lord will establish your members. Oh, a company owner. That you needed to shut down your company. Because of the lockout. Because of this disease called coronavirus. I am here to tell you. That the Lord is saying. That they have prevented you in the days of your calamity. But he is your stay. He is establishing you. He is establishing you. He is giving you victory. He is your banner of victory. Oh, a husband that you have lost your job. You have even lost your wife to coronavirus. The Lord says he is comforting you. He is giving you rest. He is giving you rest. He is restoring unto you. Oh, thank you Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is saying us to go back to the account of Job. Job lost it all. He lost it all. But he never spoke against his God. Jesus could have lost it all. In the Gethsemane gardens he prayed. That let this cup pass over me. But when he said that let your will be done. His will which is the will of the king of kings was done. And look at Jesus now. He seated at the right sign of God. I know you want to give up. This coronavirus, this season have cost you a lot. You are broke. You don't know where to turn. But look at Jesus on the cross. Hey, he endured the shame. He despised the shame. He despised the shame. And he said, it is finished. It is finished. I am here to tell you that it is finished. As Job despised the shame. As Job despised the shame. He despised the diseases. He trusted in the king of kings. I am here to encourage you. I know that there is a family. Who don't know how to start. Even when this virus ends. But the Lord is with you. His name is Jehovah Shammah. His name is Jehovah Shammah. Keep your prayer requests coming. We will be praying with you. Keep your comments coming. Sow a seed of prayer in the lives of all those people. If you know a family that is going through that, this moment pray for that family. Many countries don't know how to start. But am I here to announce Jesus to you? It is the same Jesus. 
He is interceding for us. He is with us. He will never leave us. Hey, he never slumbers nor sleep. Somebody pray. Pray. Lika and Sata. Pray. Somebody pray. Pray, pray, pray. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord to be with you. Tell the Lord to be with you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. We lift up another prayer. I believe in prayer so much that it is a good time to spend time in prayer. There is this simple scripture which is very old. And the scripture is Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. It says that let there be light. And there was light. Our God said let there be light. And there was light. And John chapter 1 verse 5 says that when light shine, darkness could not comprehend. You can do that exercise at home right now. If you like, put off all the lights and just light a manches. And you see how the manches, that small light from the manches can light your whole home. That is the power of light. And who is light? The light is the prince of peace. The light is Jehovah Nisi. The light is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And as the world remembers his death and his resurrection, I want you to declare that let there be light. Even at the end of the coronavirus, which has ended by our prayer, as it is finished with coronavirus, as it is finished by our prayer and by the word of our Lord, we need the light of God to shine. As the peace of God reign on this earth. And as the Lord established us. As he established Isaac. In our Robohov. And as the peace of God reign. We still need light. We are asking the Lord. The Father lets your light shine. Let it shine. Let it shine in my homeland Ghana. Let it shine in Italy Lord. Let it shine in UK, Lord. Let it shine. Just, just mention the name of every country that you want the light of God to shine. Just mention the name. Let's start with continents. Lord, shine in Africa, Lord. Shine in Europe, Lord. Shine in North and South America, Lord. Shine in Australia, Lord. Shine in all the Af uh, continents, oh God. You can mention any name of any country that you want. Shine in U.S., Lord. Shine in Israel, Lord. Let your light shine. Let there be light. Let there be light in every aspect, oh God. Let there be light in my country. Let it be light in every region of my country country lord in the name of jesus now you are going to personalize the light which area of your life do you want the light to shine the lord has established you but you need the light of god to know where the establishment is the lord has given us the daniels the daniels know where the house to know where the light is for them to locate the light, they need to get out of the darkness which area do you want the light of God to shine? Which area? Is it your finances? I'm here to encourage you. That let them declare it by your own voice. Declare that let the light of God shine. Is it in your Christian life? Declare that let the light of God shine. Is it your, your relationship with your family members? Tell the Lord, the Lord, let the light of God shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. The songwriter says, this little light of mine, I am going to let it shine. Oh, Jesus, let this little light shine. And that light has shined from years to years. And it will continue to shine and shine and shine and shine. We are here on earth and let's tap into this beautiful light of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Declare it, somebody. Declare it, my mother. 
It is possible. All you need is your voice that tell the Lord that let your light shine. Let it shine in the life of my family. Let it shine in the life of my business. Let it shine in my bank account. Let it shine in every area of my life. Declare it somebody. Oh, my sister, declare it. My brother who is driving your car, declare it. Oh, my sister behind your laptop, declare it. Declare the Lord, let your light shine. Let it shine. Let it shine among our doctors. Let it shine among our nurses. Let it shine among our pharmacists. Let it shine in this world. Let it shine. This little light of mine. Let it shine. If you have your phone, you can just put everything off and just wave it. Just declare that this little light of yours is shining. That the blight in the blood of Jesus that you have sprinkled in your house. And the communion that you have taken. And the partaking of the blood of Jesus that you've shared. It will shine and drive away every darkness in your heart. Every darkness in your house. Every darkness in your country. Every darkness in your continent. Every darkness in this world. Declare that let the light of God shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine in every corner of this world. On every atmosphere. On every planet in this world. Declare that the light of God shall shine. This is still Gospel Light International Church. And I'm still stepping in the shoes of Bishop Dr. Nanaya Dombwache. Of the Powerhouse Cathedral. And it's still our power time, our power prayer time. And we are lifting our prayers to heaven. In Jesus' name. We've let our light shine. The light of God is shining. The light of God is shining. Finally, you are praying for a testimony. Yes. The Lord has taken us to Arubuhov. The Lord has established us. The Lord has raised the Daniels among us. But we need a notable miracle. We need a testimony to show to the face of coronavirus that when you came into this world, yes, I saw the Lord when King Hosea died. I saw the Lord when corona ended. But this is my testimony. This is the evidence that the Lord is with me. If you've not prayed with us yet, if you are still contemplating on praying with us, it's your chance to join us. The Lord is listening to us. Jehovah Shammah is still with us. He's all yes listening to our prayers. So lift up your voice. Ask the Lord for testimony. Call on him for he is near. Prayer changes everything. Ask the Lord for a testimony. Ask him for a notable testimony. Ask him for a notable testimony. Beloved, when the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea in Exodus, Bible says that the Lord told Moses that let every family pick a stone from the sea so that it will be a memorial. So all the tribe, all the 12 tribes of Israel picked a stone to serve as a memorial. What is a memorial? A memorial is an evidence. A memorial is a testimony. A memorial is something to show to the devil that you brought corona, but the Lord delivered us from it. You brought corona, but at the end of it, the Lord established me. Lift up your voice. I don't know what your testimony is, but my testimony is one thing, that you will receive a testimony. That by the end of this prayer, you receive a test message. That by the end of this prayer, an idea will drop into your spirit. An idea that will change the world. 
and understanding that will change the world a solution to a problem will drop into your soul an idea that the whole world has been waiting for oh what is that testimony that you are looking for what is that testimony let it be your prayer this evening declare that testimony that unusual testimony that mind blowing testimony Jesus had a testimony he died and he resurrected he didn't say let this car path over me he said that let your will be done as you've made the will of God to be done and he has let you endure this pain he has let you endure coronavirus oh ask the Lord for a testimony a testimony a testimony a testimony thank you Holy Spirit oh the spirit of God is good he's interceding with us He's there in your room and he still wants you to pray. He wants you to pray once again. The Spirit of God wants you to pray once again. He wants you to pray for a mind-blowing testimony. You know, Pharaoh saw it all. He saw all that the Lord did with Moses. But I know that the mind-blowing one was when the Red Sea was divided into two. The devil has brought corona. Many had died. In my country, some have died. In some country like Italy, like China, like the US, a lot have died. Family have lost their people. But the Lord can give you a mind-blowing testimony. Yes, the Lord will give you one. That mind-blowing testimony that made Pharaoh went back to Egypt and never returned to pursue the Israelites that is the mind blowing testimony that out of this as the whole world has declared it as a pandemic you are lifting up prayer and you are telling the Lord that it should give the world a mind blowing testimony that we will say that at the end of Corona this is what the Lord did for the world in the comfort of your home, you are asking for a mind-blowing testimony. I'm not asking for a car for you. I'm asking for a generational testimony. A testimony that will go and go on and go on and go on till the end of time. That is the mind-blowing testimony that I'm asking for you. Let it be your prayer this evening. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I ask for a mind-blowing testimony for my country. I ask for a mind-blowing testimony for the world. I ask for a mind-blowing testimony for my family, for my job, for my personal life, for my ministry, for my church, for my family members, for my SF, for my bishop, for my church. Oh Lord, I pray that let a mind-blowing testimony be our portion. In Jesus' name. Somebody, continue in prayer even when I end. Because the atmosphere is charged. Your, 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 your atmosphere is charged. You see, there is one thing about prayer that is so beautiful. When you start, you can never stop. It is a conversation between man and, 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 and a good God. When we lifted up prayer and we prayed that when Jacob was left alone on his road to meet Esau and he wrestled with the angel, the heavens opened unto our prayer. The heavens are still receiving your prayers. So lift up your voice once again. I want you to give you a chance to pray. So a seed of prayer. Anything you want to pray, you can pray. If you know how to speak in tongues, you can speak in tongues. If it is a time of worship, you can worship. Whoever that you want to pray for, you pray for the person. However you want to lie, if you want to lie down, if you want to kneel, you can still send your comment to us. But the heaven doors are opened. Oh, angels are descending and ascending. They are receiving and are bringing back our prayer requests. The heavens are opened. The Lord is receiving our prayer. Just as when Jesus died, 
the heavens rejoice. And when he he resurrected, the heavens rejoice. The same way that the heaven is rejoicing. Because you and I are talking to our king of kings. We are talking to our Abba Father. The Alpha and the Omega. The Prince of Peace. The I am that I am God. The God that never changes. The omnipotent God. The God of kings. The King of glory. The I am that I am God. The living God. The God that never changes. Hey, the Jehovah Shaman. The Jehovah Aldona, our sovereign God. That is the God that we are calling on. And he will hear us. He will hear us. He has heard us. And he has bring our answers. Somebody receive your answer. Continue in prayer. Continue in prayer. Continue in prayer. Continue in prayer. I encourage you to continue in prayer. If you have not called a friend yet, call that friend. If you have not called a family member yet, call that family member. If you have not made a conference call, make that conference call. If you are still lying on your bed, I'm asking you to rise up. Rise up and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. If you have not screamed in prayer, if you have not yelled in prayer, if you have not called on the name of God, I'm asking you to call the name of God because he is nearer to you than you think he's all yes he's all yes he's waiting for you to pray the atmosphere of prayer the spirit of prayer the prayer bundle is on you right now it's in your house right now somebody lift up your voice lay it all before him as bible says in first peter chapter 5 verse 7 that cast all your burdens onto him because he cares cast it all onto him the woman with the issue of blood he looks said out if only i can touch the hem of his garment jesus is in heaven but you can touch the hem of his garment by your prayer lift up your voice in prayer somebody lift up your voice in prayer somebody it doesn't matter what you will say the lord will hear you it doesn't matter how you will pray my sister it doesn't matter how you will pray my brother it doesn't matter the words that you pray he only needs to hear from you he's just a call away make that call of prayer make that call of prayer call on him and he will hear you call on him and he will answer you he will answer you somebody lift up your voice in prayer Mm, we bless you lord we bless you lord we bless you lord we bless you i feel like praying i feel like praying somebody i feel like praying I feel like praying somebody. I feel like praying. Because the atmosphere, the heavens are opened. They are opened. And prayers have to be lifted up. Oh, share the link somebody. Let somebody join you in prayer. It is a continental prayer. Mm, Somebody share the link. Tell somebody about this prayer time. And share the link with that person. We are not we are not limited. Our God is not limited to a lockdown. Our God is not limited to church building. He is with us. Look to your left, he's there. Oh, come on, look to your right, he's there. Look to your front, he's there. Look to your right, he's there. He's there with us till the end of time. He's here with me in my homeland Ghana. He's there with you in the US. He's there with everyone around us. Because his name is Jehovah Shammah. We bless you, Lord. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Even when we end this time of power prayer time, you can still continue in prayer. Because like I said, I feel in my spirit that the atmosphere is charged for prayer. The heavens are open in prayer. The heavens are receiving our prayer. The Lord has sent forth his angels to ascend and descend. Those who are ascending are sending our prayer requests. That is why I encourage you to to, to send forth your prayer requests on the comment page. Send your prayer requests to us because heaven is receiving it. And those that are descending are bringing your requests back. They are bringing answers to your prayer. 
Just like the angel was sent in the time of Daniel. Mm. Continue in prayer. Somebody, if you are watching me and you are not saved, you don't believe in this man called Jesus Christ, who is the, still the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I'm here to announce to you that he will hear your prayer and he will answer you because he's a good God. He doesn't discriminate, but you will lose heaven because you've not accepted him. It's the best decision anyone can make. Like I said, this is the powerhouse cathedral of Gospel Light International Church. And we believe that Jesus transformed life. And if you don't know a life that he has transformed, it is my life. It doesn't matter who you are. What matters is a decision. Set through your soul. What are you waiting for? The shortest scripture in, in my Bible is, and Jesus wept. Do you know why Jesus wept? He wept because of you and I. He wept because sin had encamped us. Bible says that through one man's offenses, sin came to this earth. But they that have the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, they shall reign as one with Christ. A great invitation is coming to you this evening. A great invitation has come to you this time. That great invitation is for you to accept the Lord, Jesus Christ. It's a gift of salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You will have everlasting life if only you believe in Jesus. Mother, pray this prayer for your son. Father, pray this prayer for your children. Oh, husbands, pray this prayer for your uncles. Oh, wives, pray this prayer for your go as strange husband. And somebody, if you are watching me, it's a decision time. Don't say tomorrow. Don't say yesterday. Yesterday is gone. Today is now. This is what we have. It's by the grace of God that you are hearing me. Somebody, if you are watching me and you know someone who hasn't accepted Christ, I believe in the Damascus prayer. Pray this prayer. Just begin to pray for the person. And if you are watching me and the Lord is calling you, don't wait. Don't wait. He's still knocking at your door. The door of your heart. Saying that if only you will come unto me, and you open the door to me I will come in let Jesus come into your heart let he be the ruler of your heart it's the best decision that you can make you may not have everything but you will have everything that you need you have internal life receive this gift of salvation I believe that you've made that decision kindly bow down your head with me Heaven is rejoicing with you. Heaven is glad that you've accepted him. Pray this simple prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for waiting for me. Thank you for this great invitation. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for taking this risk. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Rule over my heart. Be with me. Live a life with me. Stay with me. Walk with me. And let me be called thy own. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for coming into my heart. In Jesus' name, that I pray. Amen. Beloved, if you've prayed this prayer, Give yourself a high five and find a Bible-believing church and attend. I encourage you to pray. The Lord will lead you as he led me to this church. He will lead you to him. He will never forsake you. He has been waiting for you, so he will not forsake you now. This is still Gospel Light International Church, Powerhouse Cathedral, and I'm walking in the shoe of Bishop Dr. Danaya Dombwache. I command you, somebody, that if you have a friend 
that you know a family member a, a relative that you know that that person needs to accept Christ let me give you a testimony I was praying for my late father who passed on two years ago I kept on praying for him that the Lord should save him I never knew the Lord had answered my prayer till he died my father spared a church being established he accepted the Lord without me even knowing and a church which he helped to establish in my hometown Winneba the church is still there as a testimony of his salvation your prayer can change somebody bow down your head just this few minutes say a prayer for that family member say a prayer for that friend say a prayer for that person maybe there is a sore in your family it's only a prayer that can change that soul. It's name to Paul. It's only the Damascus prayer that will lead the Lord to go and meet that soul on his road to Damascus. Pray for nations who don't know Christ. Pray that all Chinese will know the Lord. Pray that all I Iran's will know the Lord. Pray that all the Islamic nations shall know the Lord. Be blessed, you Lord. Your prayer will be answered. And somebody, if you are watching me and you backslide, you know that you need to rededicate your life to God. You see, we are living sacrifice and we may fall off the altar. That is why Lamentation 3 says that great is the faithfulness of God. They are new every morning. You know that your Bible studies life is not as good. You know that your prayer life is not as good. You know that you've forsaken the gathering of the saints. Even in this local season, you can still gather with your family. Even in this age where we are not allowed to go out, you can still have that fellowship. You know that you've not won souls. And you are asking me, how do we win souls in this season? You can pray. You can call somebody. It is possible. You want to rededicate your life. The blood of Jesus that was shed two, more than 2,000 years ago is still fresh and it still speaks better things. That same salvation that, that, that saved you is still the same. You just need to come back like the prodigal child. The Lord is waiting for you. He wants to prepare a banquet for you. Come to him. Let's bow down our head in prayer. Ask the Lord that, Father, I rededicate my life to you. I come back to you as the prodigal son did. I am not a slave to sin. I am no longer a slave to sin. I come to you and I accept once again your gift of righteousness. Let me stay with you. Let me stay and work for you. Let your light shine. In every aspect of my life. I thank you Lord. In Jesus name. Amen. Somebody it's been a wonderful time. Praying with you. Praying with us. Joining hands with Jesus in heaven. And fulfilling scripture. In Hebrew 12 to in Hebrew 12 to, That Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. And is interceding with us. Your prayers have been heard. Continue praying because the atmosphere is charged. I am still your humble servant, Lady Reverend Francisca Kwanza, and I still remain in the shoes of my bishop, Dr. Nanaya Dombwache. I invite you to join us on Sunday for our live streaming, and we believe that on Resurrection Sunday, the world will resurrect from coronavirus. Corona has ended. It is finished. Pick a communion. Pick, if you don't have wine at home, pick water. If you don't have bread, just make a step of faith and share communion with your children. Share it with your family members. Jesus said we should do this in remembrance of him. So I, command, I, I ask you to kindly do this in remembrance of the Lord. We are on lockdown, but we are not locked out. Jesus is still with us. Thank you. God bless you. And stay blessed.